Hello, everyone, and thank you for that incredibly warm welcome. Uh, I want to begin by thanking Malik Talib, President of the Ismaili Council for Canada, for his invitation, for his kind words. I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Arif Farani, Ali Al Hasi, Yasmin Ratansi, who are here with me today for all the incredible work they do uh, in their communities and across the country. And I want to thank all of you for being here today. This is uh, always a wonderful moment for me to come uh, to this beautiful center to uh, see friends old and new uh, and to celebrate a community that for me represents uh, some of the very best of Canada. The sense of, <clears throat> excuse me, the sense of connection, uh, the sense of service, uh, the deep values that fold in to uh, every action of this community is, I think, uh, a testament to um, both the success of this country and those upon whom this success rests. Often when I see members of the Ismaili community, uh, they start by, as Arif did, thanking me and thanking my father specifically. And I always have to turn it around and say, no, 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 thank you. Thank you for being the embodiment of the vision that my father and so many others have. Thank you for the incredible... Thank you for showing not just Canadians, but the world with and through your success and your devotion both to your own identities but to this shared identity we build as Canadians. What it is to be open and to prosper through being welcoming and uh, engaging with the world and not closing oneself off. You are uh, an extraordinary example of the very best of Canada and every day I thank you for it. And I think uh, there is no better example of that than, uh, as Malik pointed out, the over one million hours of community and volunteer service to mark Canada's 150th anniversary that this community accomplished. It is uh, an extraordinary achievement and uh, a perfect example of uh, the commitment that all of you, but all of us, should have every day to contributing to the community, to the country that surrounds us. It is a beautiful a testament to the uh, dedication to this country and to all its citizens. It's quite fitting we celebrate Navroz here as the Ismaili community is known around the world for its commitment to pluralism. Tens of thousands of people see the symbol of diversity off the Don Valley Parkway every day. Navroz is a chance for all Canadians to honor the many communities that have observed this tradition for generations and the many contributions you have all made to Canada. This event is a testimony to the diversity that makes Canada stronger and Canadians better. So thank you for gathering here today. And I've been giving some thought to the idea of Navroz, which marks the start of the new year and the beginning of spring. The idea of new beginnings is central to Navroz. Comment pouvons-nous créer et saisir des occasions durant la nouvelle année? Comment pouvons-nous garder espoir? Comment pouvons-nous rester optimistes face à l'adversité? La, Comment pouvons-nous cultiver l'ouverture et la compréhension, non seulement aujourd'hui, mais à tous les jours? Bien qu'il n'y ait pas un, une seule réponse à ces questions, elles suscitent une réflexion utile sur l'année qui vient de s'écouler, une réflexion qui peut nous permettre d'avancer au moment où nous accueillons le nouvel an. This led me to think back on a meeting I had just a few weeks ago with the Afghan girls robotics team. By the time they arrived in Canada, these incredibly smart and driven young women had already been awarded top prize at robotics competitions around the world, gaining international recognition for their accomplishments in STEM. 
They spoke of their successes with pride and shared their plans for the future with optimism and hope. They spoke of their aspirations not only for themselves, but also for their community, for Afghanistan, and for other women in their field. Je partage avec vous leur histoire aujourd'hui parce que le chemin vers la réussite a été loin d'être facile pour ces jeunes femmes. Mais malgré les obstacles, elles se sont montrées optimistes, fortes et pleines d'espoir, brillantes, gentilles et fières. I mention that Afghan girls robotics team because in a way they embody the spirit of Navruz. These 12 young women were beyond ready for the next chapter of their journey here in Canada and ever so eager for new beginnings. And as it so happens, we met on the last day of February, on the eve of this month of renewal. Now, I know we can't all claim to be leaders in robotics, but do not let their extraordinary circumstances and abilities distract you from the more familiar elements of their story. For generations, people have come to Canada to realize their dreams. Some faced impossible odds for a chance to build a better life for themselves, while others made considerable sacrifices to ensure the success of their children and grandchildren. As we mark Navroz today in the Ismaili Center, I want to recognize that everyone in this room can relate to these stories. Take the Ismaili community, for example, many of whom were welcomed in Canada in 1972 after being forcibly expelled from Uganda by Idi Amin. This is a community, like so many others, that overcame significant obstacles, and of course its members are leaders in every profession across the country today. Indeed, the story of hope and hard work is one that Canadians from all backgrounds can relate to one that lives on in our communities and, hopefully, transcends our borders. While Navroz is a time of celebration and new beginnings, it also reminds us of our privilege during this time of change. As Canadians, we are fortunate to live in a country where our rights are enshrined in the Constitution, where our freedoms are entrenched in laws, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms ensures that all Canadians can speak their mind, practice their faith, and stand up for what they believe in. Because of the Charter, every Canadian is entitled to a new beginning. I want to end by sharing with you the wise words of the per Persian poet Hafiz, which I believe capture the spirit of this occasion. Spring and all its flowers now joyously break their vow of silence. It is time for celebration, not for lying low. Once again, thank you for having me here today to join in this celebration. To all those who have gathered around the Hafsin table this week and are gathering in Jamat Khanas this evening, I wish you all peace, health, happiness, and prosperity in the new year. Navroz Mubarak, may peace and blessings be upon you.